Hi, I'm Serena Apia from thriftdiving.com and today I am here at the Arrow Fastener Workshop and we are making amazing Father's Day gifts. We are making tablet holders for the men in our lives. Stick with me because you're going to want to see this project and we're using some of our favorite Arrow Fastener tools. For this project, we're going to need the Arrow Fastener T50, the Arrow Fastener PT18G pneumatic brad nailer, and we are going to need some 1x3 boards and 1x2 pine boards. And you're going to need seven pieces. You can make this project with any size tablet and you won't even have to measure. Here's how you get a perfect fit. Place it on the 1x3. You can line up the edge. It doesn't have to be precise, but you want to go about a half an inch beyond the edge of the tablet. This is so that you've got wiggle room in your tablet holder. This is gonna make up the back of the tablet holder. We've got three of them cut here, and it really depends on the size of your tablet. If you've got a larger tablet, you may want to use four boards, and for mine, three is perfect. So we're gonna use some quarters here. You can also use washers, and we're just gonna make sure that this is perfectly spaced. We'll get this nice and tight, and we'll just place our tablet on here to make sure that it fits. Now we're gonna cut some one by twos. Now I've already done this, you'll make them the exact same length as your boards that you've already measured. These are going to make up the top and the bottom. What we're gonna do is place this one by two on the side, making sure that our tablet holder boards are nice and tight, line up the edges, and then we're just gonna use our pencil to mark. And you'll see here, we didn't have to do any measuring. So we know that this left side will fit perfectly and we'll be able to do a right piece and cut that using this as a template. So let's go ahead and secure this to the table with one of our clamps. For this project we are going to use a jigsaw and we are going to use a speed square here because we want to get a nice right angle cut in order to make our tablet holder. Now that we have one piece cut we can easily lay this out and create a second piece. And it looks like we've done a pretty good job. Next, we're gonna start by securing one of the boards to the table with two spring clamps. Place a little bit of glue and give it nice pressure all along the wood. Now, if you have any seepage, go ahead and wipe it because it will affect the stain. Now that we've got the wood glue on there, we are ready to use our pneumatic nailer and we are going to secure this together. So now that we've secured the bottom pieces and the top pieces, you wanna be able to slide your charger in here while you've got your tablet holders. We're gonna place the tablet inside there and we're gonna mark where our charging hole needs to go. We're gonna drop it in there. Remember, gravity is gonna pull your tablet down, so make sure you've got it lined up here on the bottom. And I've got my little on off button here, so I'm just gonna go right over to the side here and make a mark. We're gonna use a 5 16th drill bit and we wanna make sure that we are using a sacrificial board. If you don't, you could get some tear out on the other side. We don't want that. You wanna go all the way down until you feel the sacrificial board hitting the drill bit. We should have a nice clean hole. So now that when we put this back in place, we've got access to charge our tablet. Next, we're gonna adhere the side, but before we do that, we're gonna drop the spacers in and you can clamp it. And we're gonna add a little bit of wood glue here. Next, it's time to use the pneumatic brag nailer. we can remove all of the spacers. Be sure to use a mask because we're gonna do some sanding. And we're gonna use a 150 grit sandpaper along the edges just to smooth everything out. You're also gonna to wanna to use wood filler to fill the nail holes. We are ready to stain this. You can also use paint, but stain is also great. We're just gonna put it on here and it's gonna give it a nice, rich, dark appearance. You'll probably wanna use two coats. So now that we've stained the tablet holder, we are ready to cut out our belts. I love upcycling things and leather belts are the perfect addition to this tablet holder. And what we're gonna wanna do is create a nice 45 degree angle here at the top. Remember, we want to keep this tablet secure. We don't want it to fall out. So I've created a 45 degree angle up here. And what I like to do is place the tablet inside of the tablet holder. Now we could add it out here, but that could make it a little bit more difficult to see the screen. So we're gonna move it back a little bit and we're gonna take our pencil and create another 45 degree angle. We can use some heavy duty tin snips. Regular scissors will work, but these will cut through that leather very easily, very quickly. Now, if you wanna embellish the leather, you can do stamping, you could use some sort of engraving tool just to really give it a nice Father's Day personalized message. 
So now we're gonna use the T50 and we're going to secure this. And then we'll be able to use the decorative tacks to cover it up. We're gonna use 3 8 inch staples, two here and then two at the top. And now we wanna cover that up. So we're gonna take some of these decorative furniture tacks and you're gonna to wanna to center it right in the middle of that staple, right next to the staple. And then you're gonna hammer it in place. Surprisingly, it actually covers the staple perfectly. You won't even know that there are staples there. All right, we're gonna put this one here. And you also wanna make sure too that if you do decide to stamp onto your leather, be sure that you don't have any of your letters covered up by the staples or by the furniture tacks. You're gonna to wanna to repeat this for all four corners. So for the final step, we just wanna figure out how we want to attach this to the wall. Now you can use command strips, or you can use D-rings, or if you go to your home improvement store, you can buy some anchors and anchor this permanently to the wall. That's it, we are done. Now I've left enough space that I can easily put the tablet in. I've got my four corners secured so that when this is hanging up on the wall, the tablet doesn't fall out. This is perfect for garages, laundry rooms, any place that you wanna put your tablet or dad's gonna to wanna to put his tablet up and out of the way, but make it look attractive. If you enjoyed this project, go to aerofastener.com slash projects or click the link below for the materials and step-by-step -step instructions. I'm Serena from Thrift Diving and I'll see you next project.